It's called dysmenorrhea, more commonly the pain and discomfort experienced by most women during their monthly menstruation. We're happy to have health and longevity doctor and podcaster Dr. Elizabeth Rogers back to talk more about the real root cause of period pain. So as always, you always come on, you give us so much insight into all kinds of things that affect our health, but this is something that most women can relate to. Yeah. So why is it that we, some of us, experience such horrible pain during our menstruation? So this is one of my favorite topics to talk about, especially with women, because we're always told it's our hormones. It's always the hormones when in reality what's actually going on has more to do with our immune system mm. during that time of month and a lot of people just don't realize it so I love getting an opportunity to help open up women's eyes and shift their perspective on this. Absolutely. Does this also relate to PMS? Does, does our mood, is that affected by our immune system as Absolutely. well? Absolutely and while PMS is actually a real diagnosable condition, a lot of what we're calling PMS or just that those symptoms bef that come along before or during our periods are actually because of toxins and pathogens and here's what's really going on. Mm. So during that time of month, our immune system is shifting 80% of its attention directly to our reproductive system, yeah. meaning that now only 20% of our immune system is left behind to do all of the work that is typically being done by our entire immune system. Wow. So toxins, pathogens, other things that are hanging out in our bodies that are typically kept at bay because of our immune system now have a chance to launch an attack because we're in a more vulnerable state. Oh goodness. Is there any way to control it because our environment has a lot of impact, but you can't necessarily change your environment every time that time of the month comes along. Exactly. But what about things that we can nourish ourselves with or ways that we can care for ourselves? One of the best things we can all do is just start to target and focus on our immune system. So doing things like increasing our vitamin C intake. That doesn't have to be through a healthy supplement. That can be through increasing our intake of orange juice, citrus mm. fruits, or other things that have a lot of vitamin C in it. Zinc is another really important source for the immune system, and most people are actually deficient of it. So finding a liquid zinc sulfate supplement that's free from alcohol oh is another really fantastic way to target the immune system. But truthfully, you don't have to go out and buy supplements just to help yourself during that time of month. Yeah. Just focusing on healthy whole fruits and vegetables is really going to help keep your immune system nice and strong. And how do people best prepare? Because it's always good to jot down when it starts, when it ends, and to do that month after month so that you have some sort of an idea as to what the onset is looking like. Absolutely, this is why I love cycle tracking. I know there are a lot of great apps out there that you can use, but you don't need an app. I Mark it on the calendar. That's what I actually do. <laughs> yeah. I'm an old fashioned kind of girl, so I still love my planner that I use with my pen and my paper. We were and separated at birth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I believe that. I just, I still, yeah. I even still use that as my calendar, not the calendar on my phone because I don't know, call me crazy. Yes. I get something out of the act of using the pen and circling and writing things <laughs> yes. down. But really yeah. you can just Mark on your calendar the date that you notice an onset of symptoms. Notice what those symptoms are now. Because I'm also an epidemiologist, I like to take tracking kind of to the next level. Yeah. And something else you can do is not just note the symptoms, but note the severity. So you can create your own yeah. tracking system. The cool thing about that is then you can actually watch your progress. And let's say you notice some symptoms one month, and next month you decide, all right, since this happened or I got some acne, this many days before my cycle started. Next month, I'm gonna start targeting my immune system. Let's see if that makes a difference. And maybe you're going to notice that the severity of the symptoms improves or they start to reduce or eliminate themselves altogether. That's great advice. And would you recommend also just maybe altering your diet as you lead up to those days? So anticipating maybe a week prior before you think Absolutely. your and honest, cycle will start? Yes, yeah. and one of the best things that you can do that's popping into my mind, so I know it's important, is 
if you change one thing, even if you don't drastically change your diet or your lifestyle, get really good at hydrating yourself. Oh yes. That Water. is one of the best and healthiest things you could do. I could tell you so many stories, so we'll yeah. talk about it more another time. And you'll but it's a great look one. better too. Yeah. Because <laughs> we all get so tired and dehydrated. Great advice, Dr. Yeah. Rogers. For anyone who wants more information, where should they go? Definitely you can head to my website, which is drlisbethrogers.com, or my podcast, which is where I pour my heart and soul out. And it's called The Bridge, a transformational health podcast with Dr. Elizabeth Rogers. Thank you so much. Thank Good to you. see you. We're back after this.